going on guys? Rob Peasel back with your North Division Roundup. Okay, the standings are there, but let's face it. The big story this week involved the Vancouver Canucks. When we last spoke, they had a game postponed because they had two players placed on the NHL's COVID protocol list. And that number just continued to climb all week. The team released a statement on Wednesday saying that 21 players, including three on the taxi squad, as well as four staff members, have all tested positive for a variant of COVID, and the team obviously hasn't played a game since. Now, the league is hopeful the Canucks will still get a 56-game season in, but with no real end in sight, this one seems a bit doubtful. Now, something tells me the league is going to have to make some pretty tough decisions down the road. And by tough decisions, I mean flat out canceling games instead of trying to reschedule them. And they still have to, of course, make sure the playoff situation still works. All right, over to some hockey talk. The North Division has been the highest scoring in the league this season. And some hockey fans will say the reason is pretty simple. There's just so much firepower playing in this division. While others might blame, well, let's call it suspect goaltending. Now, whatever side of the fence you're on, you can't deny we saw some goalies putting on a show this week in the North. Jack Campbell tied an NHL record by winning his first four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten games of the season. It's pretty awesome. Um, you know, lots of words right now. It's uh, It's been a long journey, and uh, just to see, have their support, every single guy, um, it's crazy. It's, uh, it's a dream come true. Or how about Carey Price channeling his inner Billy Ramford with the good old fashioned two pad stack. And then finally you got Connor Hellbuck. Well, just being Connor Hellbuck. They don't just give away Vesna trophies for nothing. Okay, a few more things before we take a look at the weekend. Eric Stahl played his first game as a Montreal Canadian. And it was a pretty good debut. Here comes Stahl, waiting, shoots, Connor McDavid and Leon Dreisaitl, well, they just kept filling the net. McDavid has the most points by an Oilers player through the first 40 games since some guy named Wayne Gretzky. And as a pair, they were the first teammates in 35 years to each post 20 or more points against a single opponent in a season. They did it against the Sens, and the last pair to do it, well, this guy again, along with Paul Coffey. And we can't forget, Monday is the NHL trade deadline. And that got a lot more interesting for GMs in the North when the Canadian government slashed the quarantine time in half from 14 days to seven. Now I spoke to three different experts and I asked them what team in the North will probably make the most moves. The answer was unanimous. The team that might be most active is the Maple Leafs. I think it might be the Toronto Maple Leafs. I do think it's going to be Toronto. You know, the Leafs are one of those teams that they feel they're on the precipice of something special. They're not going to leave any stone unturned. Kyle Dubas has made so much noise about all the assets being on the table, trading away top prospects, the whole thing. They've had a great year so far, so a little bit of depth, whether it's up front or on the blue line, could go really far for the Maple Leafs. I think they're the one team that should be the most active leading up to the Toronto. You can watch that video in its entirety on cbcsports.ca. Just three games on the schedule this weekend, all on Saturday night. So enjoy those games, enjoy trade deadline day, and we'll see you next week.